Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, to the people of Kenya, beloved Christians and fellow Kenyans, in our bishop's voice this week, we address ethnicity and negative tribalism. We as Kenyans must not look at ethnicity as a curse, but as a blessing. We as a country are blessed by the cultural diversity that we should celebrate. We wish therefore to address the issue of cultural diversity and the negative tribalism that has continued to hurt our living together in harmony in our country. What is cultural diversity? Why do we get so easily convinced to take refuge in our tribes during general elections? We must support leaders who are not tribal and at the same time support cultural diversity. Cultural diversity in particular, ethnic diversity, is a beautiful gift from God. This gift is manifested in Kenya by the 44 plus tribes that make us one nation. Our national character is strengthened by the different languages we speak, diverse art, culture, expressions, types of food we grow and eat, diverse agricultural and livestock activities, and diverse musical rhythms and dances, among other diversities we are proud of. As we all know, none of us chooses to be born in a particular culture. God places us in a family within a tribe with unique cultural beliefs and practices. We are a happy people who welcome visitors, some of whom choose to settle permanently wherever they find peace. This is as it should be. In the Bible, Abraham, as well as Mary and Joseph, the parents of our Lord Jesus Christ, are examples of people who had moved from their ancestral land to go to settle somewhere else where they found peace. Many countries, like United States and Australia, have been strengthened by the migration of many people. Our constitution provides us that freedom of association and settlement anywhere in the country. Many people in Kenya have moved to other parts of the country far from their ancestral land, seeking good arable land, better business prospects or employment. It is in this background that we, the Catholic bishops, wish to address the the topic of tribalism and invite you to reflect together. One, ethnic diversity is a blessing from God. Every Kenyan is entitled to find and make a home anywhere within the Republic. General elections should in no way serve as an excuse to threaten or deny anyone to live anywhere in the Republic of Kenya. Two, Tribal incitements is by far the greatest threat to peace in our country. Already we are many candidates making veiled reverence to tribal balkanization. We must end the culture of tribal animosity and violence that comes with every election cycle. Every life is precious before God. We therefore condemn anyone who threatens life by mobilizing young people as a means of causing violence. We, as citizens, must decide never to be led to the road we witnessed in the year 2007-8. Number three, elections come and go. Leaders come and go. What is constant is our country which will, last, will outlast us. We must bequeath a peaceful and pro uh, prosperous country to our children. 
We therefore condemn any leader who incites young people to use intimidation or violence. To this end, any politician forming militia groups in the name of electioneering or protecting self-interest is an enemy of our country and our youth. We are born in a family, into a community, into a tribe. However, we can remain objective when considering candidates, including those of different tribes. We must go beyond tribes and, and our clans and focus on the strength of a candidate seeking our worthy vote. When we vote, we should not vote for a tribe, but a candidate who will move forward our country. We now turn to the young people. To you young people of Kenya, please listen to our appeal to you. You will be the ones to enjoy the fruits of good governance and unity in a few years. You must not be used as an object to cause evil or of propagating tribal hatred. People will come to bribe you either with money or unethical ideas so that you vote emotionally and irrationally without putting your country first. This is a way of robbing you of your future. God has given you talents and opportunities. Your youthfulness is also a gift from God. Keep alive your dream of a great Kenya and walk towards it. Walk towards peace and cohesion across all ethnicities. Remain always open to intertribal marriages. Decide to protect peace before, during, and after the elections. Number six, the election manifestos must include a clear way we will give hope to the youth and give specific solutions for youth, employment, ease of borrowing for them, and new opportunities where they can employ their skills. In conclusion, we, the Catholic bishops, do not try to emphasize that we are children of the same God, regardless of which part of the country one comes from. We urge you all to welcome and impress people of other tribes, which is called cultural inclusivity. This means respecting the right to live anywhere in the country. May we pray to remain one people in the words of St. Paul. I quote, for us with the human body, which is a unity, although it has many parts, all the parts of the body, though many, still making up one single body. All parts are different, but they are all important. May we continue to celebrate our cultural diversity in the way we conduct our elections and in the way we work together as a nation in choosing the new leadership into various positions. Amen. Let us work together towards God and peace God bless you. God bless Kenya. We're tuned to Radio Walmini 88.3 FM.